This guy, anyone know what this guy's name is? Stephen Hawking. Anyone know who this is? Stephen Hawking. Let's put them side by side. Anyone care to guess how old the guy on the left is? Shout out an age. 50, 70, any more? 73. The guy on the right, give me an age. 60, 35. Let's put the ages in. This is Hawking, age 40 in 1982. This is Hawking uh, in 2007, age 65. This is a recent image of Stephen Hawking's and his teeth. Now, I said in a previous lecture that I didn't think that they were dentures, that they, they've got to be real teeth. Dentists wouldn't give you dentures like that. So if you, if you compare it with a much earlier image, his bottom teeth seem to be ground right down to the bone. So my comment was, did his teeth grow back? Now, I have been contacted by a dentist who reckons that the, the teeth on the right, they might be dentures. He's, he's not 100%, but he says it's possible. Let's look at these two images. Do you believe they are the same person? Look carefully. Look carefully. The one on the right is much more recent. The one on the left is, I think, from probably the late 70s or early 80s. Here's Hawking. In the 60s, 70s, 80s, this is him now. Do you believe that is the same person? This comes from a paper by Miles Mathis entitled Stephen Hawking Died and Has Been Replaced. <coughs> now then, which I find persuasive. I've, I've um, been downloading hundreds of images of Stephen Hawking trying to find further evidence about this. But for me, this, this is the most strongest evidence what I'm about to read you. Hawking has amyotrophic lateral sclerosis also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The average survival time for ALS is four years. When Hawking was first diagnosed in 1963 doctors gave him two years to live. Hawking has had ALS for over 52 years which is a record by many decades. Jason Becker is the only person I have heard of who has lived more than 20 years with the disease. So there is about a three decade difference between the longest survivor and the second longest survivor. And yet, here we are, 52 years later and counting. It appears the real Hawking did beat the odds and live for about 20 years, but at some point he was replaced. I have no proof he died, but I assume that is why they replaced him. He was a very useful public relations entity for physics, and they didn't want to lose him. So there's your reason, yeah? Let's assume it's true. You can see why they might do it, because um, we know if you watch Rich Planet that there are things in science which have been covered up. Uh, cold fusion technology, free energy technology, directed energy weapons, possibly anti-gravitic propulsion systems, all kinds of things, right? So if you're going to keep that type of thing covered up in physics, um, you'd, you're not going to want scientists, in, real scientists, investigating those things and talking about them, right? So you can see a motive there. And this guy is treated like a god. No one can question Hawking. He's far too clever, isn't he? Stuff like this. Shit.